Hey guys, welcome to day three of this week. Uh, I guess the mines do count as uh, grab gun only, so... Uh, wonderful. I want to get over there so bad. Yeah, um, this is like... Not a very nice place. Oh boy. Come on. Uh, we'll just go grab that one now. Maybe I'll just not kill any of them and instead, you know, just run right to the end. So I'm gonna at least wait until I get out of the mines, and then I'll. S if I don't have it by then, uh, then like by the time I get out of the caves, then I'm gonna know that something's up and. Uh, because I know I did use the crowbar, I think, to kill a crate or something, or... I forget. I may have done it then. And I didn't even think about it, because I wasn't in Ravenholm yet. I guess... Okay. We gotta run over there, so... I don't think there's anything over there. I can just like run through it really fast. Alright. Yeah, there's some stuff here. Hey guys. Well, that wasn't too problematic. Uh no stairs here, so. Let's get in right here. I'll kill you with health! Damn it. No, 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 no. Uh, I want to. I want to get that stuff. I think that was a a cache. Oh, well, we know nothing's over here, so we'll just run right through it. Hey guys, what's going on, boys? All right. Nope. Oh, wow. That apparently goes away. So it, it's a trap. Wait, but last time I got on it, it was fine. Oh, I guess you're not supposed to jump on it. Oh, that's interesting. The jump the jump makes a difference, and then it goes away. I don't like them. Alright, um let's go through these dark ass tunnels. Oh this. There's a thing up there. Uh let's try it. Not with that. There is actually a place up there. I want to go to it. Well, let's hope that uh, I can do this without using my gun, because it's probably going to be a problem otherwise. Maybe, maybe there's something over here. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I think I got lucky. You can't bring me up. No? There you go. I need I need something just to throw back at him. Uh, let's see if we can find something through here. I really need air. I'm not playing around. I guess that works for me. I'll just throw a large stick at him. Now this one you kind of have to position yourself kind of just right. Oh what the hell, he's taking that. How dare you? Oh, you take me. Take me to your leader. Okay, well hopefully I won't die, but that may be the case. If not, this is going to be one of the ones I just come back for. Oh. oh my god. Alright, let's try this again. Come on, take me. Alright, I keep getting stuck on that thing, that's the problem. Oh, get a health back. I see there's stuff here. Nope. 
Nope, that's not going to work apparently, so I'm just going to get eaten. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything important there anyways, so we're going to just, uh... I'm just going to go right through, and apparently I'm going to get sucked out and by him anyway. Ay ay ay. Okay, let's go, let's go back over here. I know we're out of air, but that's okay. Yeah, this one's actually a really fun one. And stuff here, there's stuff here, and oh! Literally all you do is you just crouch. It's kind of fun to just watch them get taken out. It just keeps going up and down. So I don't know if Fa Father Gregory made this, or I don't know what the story behind that is. Oh my god, light at the end of the tunnel. We finally made it out of Ravenholm, I think. Now, if I don't get it, that's it. I'm not. I'm not doing this anymore. Like, a, like this is the, to me out of. I'm out of Ravenholm. What was that? What, do you still need to do that here? Like, there's no way this is Ravenholm. I'm trying to think now where, where you have to still have to go. Oh, there you are. Where's he now? Oh. Oh, crap. I need this. I need you. Gordon, master of stacking things. See, there's Lambda Cash here, and. Da -na 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 -na. That's it, that's all you have to do. Uh. Oh boy. I guess this is still not out. Uh. Or I really did screw it up by using the crowbar so early. I'm trying to think of where I am. Yeah, I have to be out of it, so I'm just gonna do a quick. I'm gonna do a normal save here, just in case I'm not. I'll try it on my own, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, I screwed it up somewhere. Oh. And he's a uh, the sniper over here. Credits to team. Is how you deal with them. Too bad you don't get whatever rifle they're using because it looks pretty damn awesome. So their job is basically just to sit here and uh, annoy the hell out of me. Let's go this way. Yeah, I don't want to use that for cover, because that's, that's a bad idea. He's a smart one. There's a plan going that way anyways. <laughs> they eat from like every conceivable angle. Go away. Oh no you don't. I'm still Gordon Freeman. Uh, I guess we'll go back to guns then. Haven't done that little these in a while. And they're just here to clean up. I guess zombies are taking better to take out than humans with guns. I guess they're counting their uh Blessings in a way. All 
Right, oh, we get a new gun now, obviously. I like this one because it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> it really does. I just want to show you guys the thing. Ah, just hold the phone. Let me just go right over here. Where is he? And check out who it is. The G-Man. I don't know exactly every spot he appears in, but I know some of them. And here's secondary fire. Oh no, I don't have it. Never mind. I thought I thought I would have at least started with it, but this thing has like no ammo. Like you would not believe. Outbreak. You're kidding, outbreak. Flank him. Who's hurt? Winston's been hit. Patch him up and get him to the back as soon as he's stable. Not Winston. Gordon Freeman. It's incredible you made it. We've been getting communications from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. Follow me. Okay. I'm following you. No, I'm not. Ah. I'll go up here. Gordon Freeman doesn't listen to no one. No, you don't. Gordon Freeman's doing whatever he wants. Over here, Dr. Freeman. Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. Alex, it's Leon, and I've got Gordon Freeman with me. Gordon, you made it through Ravenholm. Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been taken to Nova Prospect. The border guns tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. While the trains are still running, I'm going to hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high-security prison. It's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than to break out. You wanted to take the coast road? He won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the antlions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the towel cannon. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. Norco, bring the buggy out. Put it on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving it. Will do. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. <sighs> Thanks, Leon. Gordon, I haven't driven the coast in over a year, but I have no reason to think it's gotten any safer. Meet me in the depot where the trains unload. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in Nova Prospect. Bye for now. Bye, Alex. Okay, Doc. Before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check the map, see where you're headed. There's an ammo supply crate on the back of the car, if that's any comfort. Stay with the car, make use of the thumpers, you'll stand a fair chance against the antlions. I'll radio ahead to let the next base know you're coming. Shore point to NL. Born. Shore point to New Little Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Do you read? All right. Well, let's get going. Oh man. Hello, Dr. Freeman. The car's all ready for you. Hop in and I'll lower you down to the beach. So we, we get an ammo crowd on us. It's unlimited ammo for the SMG. Good, here we go. Get a gun, too. Whee! Okay. Magnet failing. Hold on. Sorry, dog. No. Guys, yeah, get the hell out of here. Yeehaw. Oh no, nope. not like the airboat. 
Alright, oh, let's go explore some more ships, shall we? Let's just drive around for a bit. This, this is a fun kind of thing. Much faster than the airboat. <laughs> it was fun. You think I'm not going in the water again? I'm sick of being Gordon Seaman. <laughs> get it? <laughs> I made two jokes there. <laughs> Alright, uh... Alright, we're just gonna keep going. Um, I guess... No, I wanna see what the, what's in these ships, though. Or maybe I don't. I don't think there's anything of any interest here. I'm guessing not. Alright. This one's kind of interesting. It's like, um... You can't really go up here, I've always found. You always have to, like, bring the car up a bit. It's just that it takes forever, so I'm not, I'm not even going to waste my time with that. That should be good enough. No, no, I want to go in the car. See what I mean? It just doesn't go. Probably because I have it against the rock, but still. Yeah, again, once again. There we go. There we go. Oh, that, that's good. Okay. And there's a health life sign. So let's uh, go here. I like uh, you know what I like the one thing I like about the car is it feels really awesome. More landed locator. Oh, nothing here. So now, now we got like our full arsenal going basically, so we're all good. Alright, let's get going. And through the gates. Uh, the one, the one thing about uh, going through these tunnels with the acceleration is sometimes that when you come out of loading, it kind of, I don't know, it, it makes you kind of jittery. Uh, you start spinning, and then you don't know which way you're actually supposed to go. And uh, I found that sometimes I reload by accident. Let's go. Word of freedom style. This is why you listen to road signs, kids. Alright, well, we got a one thing up there, so let's keep going. These things are awesome. They're, they don't want to come near because they hate when the ground is something. Of course, you can turn it off, but you know, they actually give you the option to turn it off, so it's like literally kind of like a sandbox game. Let's go in here, though. Oh, it's locked. That's okay. Gordon Freeman finds his own ways. Interesting. I, I heard a noise I don't like hearing. Hey, cool, I got an achievement. Hey, buddy. You're so cute. Oh. Okay. I, I was pressing as if I had the grab gun. <laughs> right, right click with the, uh, um, with with the, that thing does a the SMG secondary fire, which happens to be uh, blow everything the hell right up in your face. I had forgotten I swapped back. Now let's do that again because that was a uh, that was a good idea. Because I already know what's in there. Because I, I really don't like those guys. So you're about to know what they what it is. Alright, two grenades. And I should not have killed those. Oh, you haven't seen me use a shotgun yet. Well, now you've seen me use a shotgun yet. Oh boy. I really don't like them. <laughs> You can probably tell. 
You know what? There's a grenade thing down there, so... Why deal with it? Oh, wow. Well, that took care of all of them. And also any chance I have of getting back up. Uh, I can I can still get back up. I'm 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 resourceful enough. Apparently, I, I Gordon Freeman is so kick-ass that he can he can go on on barrels sideways and stay balanced. Uh, that's how awesome he is. But there's really nothing else here except for that. So now the door opens. All right, back in the car. Yeah, boy. I love the car. <laughs> it's so much fun to use. Oh, it, it just, I don't know, it just, it doesn't have the same kind of like, bounciness as the, uh, as the airboat does. Which I like the, I like the bounciness. Because you're not getting stuck all the time. If they had done that, then this thing would be so, so much better. Alright. More protection against the antlines. They basically come out all the time. Oh, you took a while to take down. Uh, I think that's everything here. I haven't used this gun a whole lot, and I like this one a lot too. Gas cans. Hey. Knock knock. What you looking at? Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to see what he's looking at. You have to like put guns in my head. I have bullets in my head, not guns. Although Tickle Crab put bullets in his head too, so I don't I don't see, you know. I guess, I guess it's karma? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, what was he looking at? And they are right now getting rid of antlines, I think. But if you look up in the corner there, or like in the top there, you can see the G-Man talking with uh, a certain somebody. Uh, well, the, the guy of the, the base over there. Yep, no more antlines. So they kind of know uh, an attack is imminent. There you go, and he walks away. So they were talking about something. It's kind of one of those things where it's it's cool. You can kind of see him, but you never actually talk to him, like unless like you actually want something from you. That's pretty cool. Warden Freeman. Oh, cool. We the grab gun makes for it doesn't really it just clips right through it. It wasn't it wasn't really meant to uh, be tied around things. kind of cool. Plus, this is, I think this is an older version of the engine as well. That's the other thing. Alright, I think we got everything here. Uh, let's get going. It's a nice bay there. Uh, I hope I can go through here. Yes, I can. I kind of want to look around, though. And there's nothing there. Oh, and there's a thing up there. Gordon Friedman has arrived. Don't worry, antlions. Kill bullets. Because I missed everything. Oh, hey man. What's going on? I Yeah, no, you're not doing that to me. Oh, whoops, this is a bad idea. Alright, let's go back up here. Because <laughs> it's much safer over here. They have the, they have their entire car here for some reason. Which I can't open up. It's a sweet ride though, I have to say. It's very unfortunate that I I don't have their futuristic. Go away. 
Damn it. I know you guys are cute, but you want to kill me right now, and that's that's not that's not cool. Nothing over there. I like the ships, but you know, I'm never I'm people are pissed off that I was looking at them all the time last time, so. I don't think there's anything I don't think there's anything ever on them though. I'm looking for the the, the lambda sign though. I don't know what's over here. There was actually supposed to be a boss fight, believe it or not. Um, that's originally how it was supposed to be. You're supposed to fight this big squid thing. It's actually some of the initial pictures for the box art, but they uh, they eventually took that out. Uh, we'll just take whatever those red things are. This steerable rocket launcher is our best bet for taking down a gunship. Ah, hello. I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses and prevent it from shooting down your rocket. This will only anger it at first, but if you can survive long enough to make several direct hits, you'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of any mantelpiece. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? Ah, yes. Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a finer volunteer. Colonel Odessa Cubbage, at your service. Okay, well, it looks like we got combat. And, uh, say hello to the gunship. Now, the thing with it is it just shot down my rocket, so you have to, like, steer it like that. And uh, then you will run out of ammo really quickly. But you gotta look around for some more. Like, there, it's all over the place, plus some of the characters will hide it from you and give it to you, so... Alright, come get some. No, you piece of crap. It's pretty good at it, though. It, I don't know if it gets harder on this uh, on this level of difficulty, but it's just a matter of swinging your mouse around. Yeah, but he still sometimes gets it, so he's still pretty damn good at it. Those gunships are really maneuverable. It's pretty badass, though. And he, it just basically follows wherever the rocket goes. Otherwise, it'd be like absolutely impossible to take down. And wow, he has a lot of health. Uh, I'm running out of ammo. Can you give me a rocket? Free ammo. Thanks. Thanks for that. Oh, that that was used. That was very useful. Thank you very much. I uh, gotta find more ammo. There should be some up here somewhere. Oh, there we go. <laughs> These guys are so awesome to take down. Yeah, boy. Recubbage fears to tread. He's afraid of gunships? Well, I can't imagine why. They make pretty freaky noises, though. Okay, I just I want to grab some more ammo, so there's probably some in here or something. No? Nope, not here. Well, wow, that kind of sucks for me. Oh, let's go up here. This is awesome. Oh, they have like, they have like a radio. Bye. All right. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's uh, quickly go and uh, go talk to him, and then we'll uh, call it up. So I do want some ammo, though. I gather you've disposed of that gunship, Dr. Freeman. Your reputation, sir, is well deserved. I shall have someone open the gate for you immediately so that you can drive on. I understand that Dr. Vance is in great need. Use extreme caution when approaching the bridge. Radio silence from that outpost leads me to believe it has come under combined control. Still, you're clearly the right man for the job. You'll make it through if anyone can. Farewell. And please tell Dr. Vance that Colonel Coverage regrets not having been able to rescue him in person. The Freeman must now hurry on. The Eli Vance is held in distress. 
most dire. Okay. Uh, I'm already gone. Uh, so with that, I bid you adieu, and uh, I'm going to just briefly try the Ravenholm thing and uh, see if that's what the problem was. See you later. Bye.